These are today's nine contestants. They'll be working as a team, hoping to win a prize of up to £10,000. But only one of them will take home the money. The others will leave with nothing, as one by one the team votes off the weakest link. To the weakest link. Any of the nine people in the studio could win up to £10,000 today. They don't know each other, however, if they want the prize money, they'll have to work as a team. But eight of them will leave with nothing, as round by round we lose the player voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. I'm Alison, I'm from Godalming in Surrey, I'm 45 years old, I'm a nurse. My name's Chris, I'm 21, I'm from Kent and I'm investment banker. I'm Dorothy, I'm 50-ish, I'm retired and I live in Herefordshire. I'm Carolyn, I'm 29, I live in Edinburgh and I'm a resource manager. I'm Paul, I'm 30 years old, I live in Blackpool and I'm a security specialist. I'm Trevor, aged 48. I'm from Bolton and I'm a local government officer. I'm Christine. I'm 50-ish also. I live in Leicestershire and I'm a housewife. I'm Alistair. I'm 22 from Rygate in Surrey and I'm a student teacher. My name's Ken. I'm 61. I'm from Cardiff and I'm an executive search consultant. Now, the rules. In each round, the aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your £1,000 target within the time limit. The fastest way is to create a chain of nine correct answers. Get your question wrong and you break the chain and you lose all the money in that chain. But if you say bank before the question is asked, the money is safe. However, you start a new chain from zero. Remember, at the end of the round, only money that has been banked can be taken forward. In round one, the time limit is three minutes on the clock. We'll start with the person whose name is first alphabetically. That's you, Alistair. Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Alistair, which Scottish dish consists of a stuffed sheep's stomach? Um, pass. Haggis. Ken, what is the largest flightless bird, the ostrich or the emu? Ostrich. Correct. Alison, what is the common name of the American five cent coin? Nickel. Correct. Chris, which singer starred in the film Viva Las Vegas? Elvis Presley. Correct. Dorothy, which Bank. fake. Which famous race first took place at the Henley Reach in 1829? The Oxford and Cambridge boat race. Correct. Carolyn, in a game of drafts, how many pieces does each player start with? 16. 12. Paul, what name is given to a word that reads the same backwards as forwards? Anonym. A palindrome. Trevor, John Smith was leader of which political party? The Labour Party. Correct. Christine, who wrote the novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Bill Dahl. Correct. Alistair, which dance traditionally begins and ends the show at the Moulin Rouge? Can Can. Correct. Ken, are a plant stamens classed as male or female? Stamens are male. Correct. Alison. Bank. On the Marshall Islands in Oceania, do they use the American or the Australian dollar? I haven't the faintest idea. American dollar, Chris. In literature, which Daniel Defoe heroine was born in Newgate Prison? Uh, pass. Mull Flanders. Dorothy, which city contains the original Tate Gallery? Uh, Paris. London. Carolyn, which country calls itself Suomi on its postage stamps? Thailand. Finland. Paul. Which comic strip character's wife was the rolling pin wielding Flo? Andy Cap. Correct. Trevor, who was the original version of Elton John's song Candle in the Wind about? Marilyn Monroe. Correct. Christine, which islands are known to the Argentinians as Las Malvinas? The Falklands. Correct. Alistair. Bank. Which old monetary unit was worth one pound one shilling? 
I don't know. A guinea. Ken, which comedy duo had a hit with the football song Three Lions? Skinner and... Uh... I can't remember. Frank Skinner and David Bardeal. Alison, what is the name the thread-like leaf a climbing plant uses to attach itself to a support? A tendril. Correct. Chris, what are the BBC's Pebble Mill Studios... I'll start again. Chris, where are the BBC's Pebble Mill Studios located? London. Birmingham. Dorothy. Bank. What is the full name of the English... Time up. Oh. I can't complete the question because the time was up. Well, with £1,000 to aim at, you won 400 Who's not up to it? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. In this round, Carolyn is statistically the weakest link, having answered all her questions incorrectly. The strongest link is Christine, but Alison banked the most money for the team. Will the voting follow the facts? OK, pens down. Voting over. Please reveal who you think is the weakest link. Carolyn. Dorothy. Alistair. Alistair. Ken. Paul. Chris. Paul. Alistair. Ken, why Alistair? To get Haggis wrong on the first stage didn't inspire me with any confidence for the rest of the round, and when he got another one wrong, two out of three, I felt perhaps it wasn't the, the night for him. Mm. Alistair, you weren't the weakest link statistically, but it's the votes that count. Alistair, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I don't feel I was the weakest link. I wasn't the weakest link, yet I was still booted off. I felt that Paul was the weakest link. Uh, I know, I realise I got the first question wrong about the haggis. My parents are going to kill me, betting that my father's Scottish. But still, here I am. I feel Carolyn is going to go next. I feel that she didn't answer as many questions correctly. She was the weakest link in the last round. She should be here now. Round two, team. You've won £400, but you could have won 1000 Eight of you left. We're now going to take ten seconds off the clock. We start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Christine. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Christine, what C is a French term referring to individually created rather than mass-produced clothes? Pass. Couture. Ken, Mandy Rice Davis and Christine Keeler were involved in which 60s scandal? Profumo scandal. Correct. Alison, what is the first book of the Old Testament? Genesis. Correct. Chris, in which 1958 Hitchcock film did James Stewart star as a policeman who's, who was afraid of heights? Hurt again. Correct. Dorothy. Bank. The trachea is the medical name for which part of the human body? The windpipe. Correct. Carolyn, on which continent would you find the city of Timbuktu? Africa. Correct. Paul, which female detective first appeared in the novel Murder at the Vicarage? Agatha Christie. Miss Marple. Trevor, what did the unready mean in the name of King Ethelred the Unready? Ill-advised or ill-prepared? Ill-prepared. Ill-advised. Christine, the Appalachian Mountains run through which continent? America. North America, correct. Ken, who took over from John Burt as Director General of the BBC? Greg Dyke. Correct. Alison, what is the last bone at the base of the spinal column called? The coccyx. Correct. Chris. Bang. Name one of the countries that will host the 2002 World Cup. Japan. Football World Cup. Japan. Japan. Correct. Dorothy, which planet was discovered in 1781 by William Herschel? Uranus. Correct. Carolyn, what should you oil a cricket bat with? Linseed oil. Correct. Paul, 
Which Scottish mountain has a ruined observatory at its summit, Ben Nevis or Cairngorm? Cairngorm. Ben Nevis. Trevor, with which religion would you associate the god Vishnu? Hindu. Correct. Christine, in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan, what was the name of the fairy? Tinkerbell. Correct. Ken? Frank. Which Kevin Cosner film saw him searching the flooded globe for dry land? I don't know. Waterworld. Alison. If A is Alpha and Z is Zulu, what is T? Tango. Correct. Chris, what was the name of Diana Ross's Motown backing band? Supremes. Correct. Dorothy. Bank. Which nationwide league football team plays at Ewood Park? Liverpool. Blackburn Rovers. Carolyn. Which World War II German military term translates as lightning war? Uh, Blitzkrieg. Correct. Paul. Bank. Name the immature form of a frog or a toad. Tadpole. Correct. Trevor. OK, your time is up. It was £1,000 to be won in that round. You've taken just 320 of it. One of you is about to leave the studio with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Will the team have noticed that Chris is the strongest link statistically? He answered all his questions correctly and banked £100. Paul, however, is the weakest link. Not only did he get the most answers wrong, he also lost the team £150. But will the voting follow the facts? OK, pens down, voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Paul. 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 Dorothy. Trevor. Paul. Ken. Dorothy. OK. Trevor? Why Paul? Too many fluffs, not good enough for the team. Paul, you're in the security business? Yeah. Mm. Does that involve much detective work? No, it's more uh, event security, crowd control, things like that. Mm. Just as well, isn't it? Because you don't know the difference between Miss Marple and Agatha Christie. Very true. Yeah. With four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. The question that really got to me was the, the Agatha Christie when I mentioned that wrong about Miss Marple because I watch the films, read the books and I'll certainly kick myself when I get outside. I think the next person to be voted off will be Ken. Um, I think he's a bit hesitant uh, on the questions. Um, he's certainly not banking when he should be banking um, and maybe that's why they'll vote him off. Right, round three. You've won £720 so far out of a possible £2,000. You're down to seven players. We're taking another ten seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. So that's Chris. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Chris, what is the name of the rating used to measure the insulating power of duvets? Togs. Correct. Dorothy, on which Creek Island was Prince Philip born? Don't know. It was Corfu. Carolyn. Alto Cirrus is the highest type of what? Cloud. Correct. Trevor, what sea is a small floral bouquet worn on an evening gown? Corsage. Correct. Christine, who wrote the James Bond books? I've forgotten. <laughs> Pass. Ian Fleming. Ken. The Hang Seng Index shows the movement of shares on which stock exchange? Hong Kong. Correct. Alison, what nationality is pop star Kylie Minogue? Australian. Correct. Chris, in politics, is Theresa May or David Blunkett the Shadow Secretary of State for Education and Employment? Theresa May. Correct. Dorothy. Bank. Which country won the most gold medals at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta? Australia. USA. Carolyn, which operatic voice type does Pavarotti have? Tenor. Correct. Trevor, which Renaissance artist and inventor drew up plans for a flying machine? Leonardo da Vinci. Correct. Christine, which TV comedy was set within the walls of Slade Prison? Courage. Correct. Ken, in which country was Salman Rushdie born? India. Correct. Alison. Bank. 
With which political leader would you associate Eva Braun? Adolf Hitler. Correct. Chris, in which sea would you find Jamaica? Caribbean. Correct. Dorothy, is coral an animal or a plant? Plant. It's an animal. Carolyn, which autumn church festival celebrates the final gathering in of the crops? Pass. Harvest festival. Trevor, who was the first female Speaker of the House of Commons? Betty Boothroyd. Correct. Christine? Bank. On entering the USA in 1882, Oscar Wilde said he had nothing to declare except what? His genius. Correct. Ken, at which game does Gary Kasparov excel? Uh, chess. Correct. Alison, is the chanterelle mushroom edible or poisonous? It's edible. Correct. Chris? Bank. What is the capital city of Romania? Prague. Bucharest. Dorothy, complete the title of this Gene Pitney song. 24 hours from... From Tulsa. Correct. Carolyn, in drink, Lapsang. The time is up, so I cannot complete that question. And of the £1,000 available, you won £420. One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. In this round, Alison, Trevor and Ken answered all their questions correctly. But statistically, Alison is the strongest link, as she also banked the team £200. The weakest link is Dorothy, who got the most questions wrong and lost the team the most money. OK, pens down, voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Dorothy. Dorothy. Christine. Dorothy. Dorothy. Ken. Dorothy. Trevor, why Dorothy? Too many wrong answers, I'm afraid. You'd like to see the back of her, would you? Yes, I would. Ken, why so, Dorothy? I felt Dorothy was starting to struggle and taking quite a long time wondering about banking. Just not strong enough, I'm afraid. Right. Well, Dorothy, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. When I was answering the questions, I was getting annoyed because they didn't seem to be aware of the bank board and that we could be putting money into the bank and nobody was shouting bank. I think the next person to be voted off will be Ken because he appears to me to be struggling and stumbling. Round four, you've won £1,140 so far. That's out of potential prize money of £3,000. Six of you left. We're taking another ten seconds off the clock, so now you have just two and a half minutes. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Alison. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Alison, in which month last year did Britain's total eclipse of the sun take place? August. Correct. Chris, what nationality was the poet Dante? Spanish. Italian. Carolyn, in which Scottish city would you be if you were watching a local football derby between Hearts and Hibs? Edinburgh. Correct. Trevor, which branch of medicine is concerned with providing artificial limbs for the body? I don't know. Prosthetics. Christine, which is the nearest star to the Earth? Don't know. Son, Ken, what was the first name of President John F. Kennedy's wife? Jacqueline Bouvier. <laughs> Jacqueline. Correct. Alison, who scored the infamous Hand of God goal against England in 1986? Diego Maradona. Correct. Chris, in which country would you find the ancient site of the Great Wall? China. Correct. Karen. In mythology, which Arthurian hero fought the Green Knight? Arthur. Sir Gerwain. Trevor, in which year did Britain return Hong Kong to the Chinese government? 1997. Correct. Christine, in which Italian city would you find a famous bell tower that leans? Pisa. Correct. Ken, complete the E.M. Foster novel title, A Passage to? India. Correct. Alison, 
In food, honeydew, water and cantaloupe are all varieties of what? Melon. Correct. Chris? Bank. What colour flag is the traditional symbol of international socialism? Red. Correct. Carolyn, what is the name of Homer's son in The Simpsons? Bart. Correct. Trevor, which science fiction writer was a radar instructor in World War II before turning to writing? Isaac Asimov. Arthur C. Clarke. Christine, what is the surname of British pop star Billy? Don't know. Piper. Ken, which highwayman had a horse named Black Bess? Dick Turpin. Correct. Alison. Bank. Which was the only one of the seven dwarfs whose name began with the letter G? Grumpy. Correct. Chris. In maths, what name is given to the number above the line in a fraction? Numerator. Correct. Carolyn. In terms of the monarchy, what do the letters ER stand for? Elizabeth Regina. Correct. Trevor. Time is up, and you ended up at the end of that round with just £320. Well, of course, you could have won another thousand. Who's costing you money? It's time to vote off the weakest link. For the second time in a row, Alison is the strongest link statistically. Trevor is the weakest link, as he only got one question right and lost the team the most money. But will the voting reflect the reality? OK, pens down. Voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Trevor. Trevor. Christine. Christine. Trevor. Trevor. Christine, why Trevor? He didn't bank when he got the chance to, and he also got a lot of questions wrong. You got a lot of questions wrong. I know, wrong. I did. <laughs> but I, can't, I wasn't going to vote for myself. No. Alison, why Trevor? I felt that he really should have banked sooner. It was too slow. Trevor, not good with medicinal questions? Obviously not, no. no. And with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Ken's the weakest team player. He doesn't seem to be banking as he should do. He's playing for himself, not the team. I think that Carolyn will be the one to go in the next round. She's been riding a look a little bit. She seems to have been getting some of the easier questions compared to some of the other team members. Round five, team. Your total so far is £1,460. If you'd hit your targets, it would be £4,000. There are five of you left. There are very few excuses. Another 10 seconds is coming off the time. We start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Alison. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Alison, who formulated the equation E equals MC squared? Albert Einstein. Correct. Chris, in which war film is Marlon Brando's character hunted down by Martin Sheens? Apocalypse Now. Correct. Carolyn. On which race course do horses negotiate the sharp left-hand bend at Tattenham Corner? Pass. Epsom. Christine, which royal has bought a Scottish home at the Castle of May? Queen Mother. Correct. Ken. An Afghan is a breed of what? Dog. Correct. Alison. Who is the Republican candidate for this year's US presidential elections? I don't know. George Bush. Chris. In the 1980s, West End Girls was the debut hit of which pop duo? Pet Shop Boys. Correct. Carolyn, the Needles Lighthouse stands at the western end of which island? Isle of Wight. Correct. Christine, of which fruit are Discovery and Laxton Superb varieties? Apples. Correct. Ken. Bank. What nationality was Sigmund Freud? Sigmund Freud was Swiss. Austrian. Alison, who played the lollipop sucking detective Kojak? Telesavalas. Correct, Chris. In Elizabethan times, Richard Burbage was renowned for his career as what? A printer. An actor. Carolyn, whose system of shorthand was first published in 1837? Pittman. Correct. Christine, who wrote the books Fever Pitch and High Fidelity? Don't know. Nick Hornby. Ken, Red Giant and White Dwarf are both types of what?
Cabbage. Star. Alison. P.W. Botha was president of which country? South Africa. Correct, Chris. Once used to stiffen ladies' corsets, how is Berlin more usually known? Whalebone. Correct. Carolyn? Bank. What do all the cast members of the musical Starlight Express wear on their feet? Roller skates. Correct. Christine, in which Commonwealth country was George Orwell born in 1903? Don't know. India. Ken, which spirit drink originated from an accidental discovery in a St. Petersburg laboratory in 1810? Vodka. Correct. Alison, which female singer's life was the subject of the film? The time is up. I cannot finish that question. You've missed out on another £1,000 target. This time you banked only £150. You cannot afford to carry passengers. Somebody isn't up to the job and is costing you money. One of you is about to leave with nothing. Ruthlessly, please, vote off the weakest link. For the first time, Christine is statistically the weakest link. Conversely, Carolyn is the strongest link, having answered three questions correctly and banked money for the team. Ken was the only other person to bank any money. But will the voting reflect the reality? OK, pens down, voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Ken. Ken. Christine. Ken. Christine. Chris, why Ken? I suppose he took too, lo too long over his answers. You're quick, are you? Yes. And Christine, why Ken? He hesitated for a long time over one question and then got it wrong, which he could have banked before he answered. Ken, with three votes. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I think Christine will likely go in the next round because she's started to get more questions wrong than she's getting right. And with that in mind, I suspect she'll be the one to disappear. Round six, you've won £1,610 out of a possible 5000 There's four of you left. We're cutting another 10 seconds from your tie. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Carolyn. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Carolyn, the senior males of which animal are called silverbacks? Gorillas. Correct. Christine, the explorers Burke and Wills died while trying to cross which continent? Antarctic. Australia. Alison, which Hampshire town hosts a biennial international air show? Farnborough. Correct. Chris, which British artist won the Eurovision Song Contest in 1967 with the song Puppet on a String? Pass. Sandy Shaw. Carolyn, what is the English translation of the Jewish festival Yom Kippur? Pass. Day of Atonement. Christine, what nationality was the astronomer Copernicus? Italian. Polish. Alison, in which year did John Major succeed Margaret Thatcher as Prime Minister? 1994. 1990. Chris, in which two neighbouring countries would you find the Great Lakes? America and Canada. Correct. Carolyn. Ken Livingstone was expelled from which political party when he ran as an independent candidate in the London mayoral elections? The Labour Party. Correct. Christine. Bang. What is the first name of the Duchess of Kent? Don't know. Catherine. Alison. Which actor won an Oscar for his role in the film My Left Foot? I don't know. Daniel Day-Lewis. Chris, who achieved the first solo flight across the Atlantic in May 1927? Pass. Charles Lindbergh. Carolyn, in literature, how many men were there in Jerome K. Jerome's boat? Three. Correct. Christine, which international team won the first Cricket World Cup in 1975? Australia. West Indies. Alison, what is the name of the new animated film by Wallace and Gromit creator Nick Park? Chicken Run. Correct. Chris, what would a gardener use a dibble for? Making holes in the ground. Correct. Bang. Carolyn, the mystery of Edwin Drood was left unfinished by which 19th century author? Edgar Allan Poe. Charles Dickens. Christine, in which TV series did the characters travel on the Starship Enterprise? Star Trek. Correct. Alison, 
Who was the British monarch at the beginning of the 20th century? Queen Victoria. Correct. Chris. The time's up. You didn't make it to a thousand. You banked just 100 pounds. You need to get the money up. You don't need any passengers. One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. As in the previous round, Carolyn is the strongest link statistically, and Christine is once again the weakest link. She only got one question right and lost the team the most money. But did the team pick up on this? Can she survive another vote? OK, pens down, voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Christine. 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 Chris. Carolyn, why Christine? Unfortunately, she slipped up on a couple of her questions. Has to go. OK. Of course, you slipped up on a couple of yours, didn't you? One. Two. Oops. <laughs> Christine, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. In this sort of thing, you seem to know other people's answers better than the ones you get. I think Carolyn will be voted off in the next round uh, because Alison and Chris seem to be gaining in confidence. Right, team, round seven, and you've got £1,710 out of a possible £6,000 you could have won by now. Just three of you left. Another ten seconds is coming off the clock. We are going to start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Carolyn. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Carolyn, what is the currency of Portugal? Pass. Escudo. Alison, what amount of US money does the slang term a buck refer to? A dollar. Correct. Chris, which gas with the chemical formula CH4 is the main constituent of natural gas? Methane. Correct. Carolyn, what is the name of the pub in EastEnders? The Queen Victoria. Correct. Alison, what Bank. was the... What was the previous name of Constantinople? Istanbul. Byzantium. Chris, which statuesque Italian film actress married pint-sized producer Carlo Ponti? Pass. Sophie Loren. Carolyn, what is 11 times 11? 122. 121. Alison, what kind of insect is a glowworm? It's a beetle. Correct. Chris, which radio DJ is affectionately known as Fluff? Dave Lee Travis. Alan Freeman. Carolyn, who wrote the poem Tam O'Shanta? Oh, Robbie... Pa oh, pass. <laughs> Robbie Burns. Alison, which knighted actor was the first director of the National Theatre? No. Sir Lawrence Olivier. Chris, in which African capital city was the Shepherd Hotel burnt down in riots in 1952 and rebuilt in 1956? Kampala. Cairo. Carolyn, which two teams played in football's Euro 2000 final in Rotterdam this July? France and Italy. Correct. Alison, the drug Digitalis is obtained from which flower? The foxglove. Correct. Chris, which actor played Dudley Moore's butler in the film Arthur? John Mills. Sir John Gilgood. Carolyn. Bank. Ooh. In Sorry. the human body, what is the popular name for the tympanic membrane? Um, eardrum. Correct. Alison, which artist painted Starry Night? Vincent van Gogh. The time is up. I cannot accept your answer. You have banked only £100. You could have won a 1000 Now, in round eight, you get the chance to treble what you bank. That means in the next round, there's £3,000 to be won. The question is, who doesn't deserve to go any further? It's time to vote off the weakest link. In this round, Alison is the strongest link. She got the least questions wrong and was the only team member to bank any money. Chris is the weakest link statistically. He only got one question right and lost the team the most money. But who's going to be out of the game? 
OK, pens down, voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Carolyn. Alison. Chris. Oh, we have a tie team between Alison, Chris and Carolyn. Alison, why Carolyn? A Scotswoman who doesn't know her own national poet. Chris, why Alison? She's pausing a lot over the questions she did get wrong. Carolyn, why Chris? He struggled with a couple of questions that uh, could have been better. Well, let me explain that when the vote is tied, the decision about who to get rid of is in the hands of the strongest link from the last round. Alison, you were the strongest link from the last round. You don't necessarily have to get rid of the person you chose. You can change your mind. I abide by my decision. I think she's the weakest link. Carolyn, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I feel really that I should have been in the final and Chris should have been here instead of me because I realised as we went along that uh, I was actually getting more than him. I think in the final it will be Alison. She has proven all along to be a very strong candidate and whilst Chris has been good, I think Alison will come through. Round eight. You've won £1,810 so far. By now, of course, you could have won 7,000. Alison, Chris, just the two of you left. And this time you have only 90 seconds. But whatever you win in this round will be trebled and added to your total to make up your final prize money. £3,000 is at stake in this round. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round, that's Alison. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Alison, carbon is compressed for years to create which precious jewel? Diamond. Correct. Chris, which long-running West End musical is based on a novel by Victor Hugo? Let me draw up. Correct. Alison, which classical composer wrote the Blue Danube Waltz? Strauss. Correct. Chris, who wrote the novel Oliver Twist? Charles Dickens. Correct. Alison? Bank. Name the cooking banana popular in West Indian and African cooking. Okra. Plantain. Chris, the De Montfort Hall is in which city's main concert venue? Leicester. Correct. Alison, Mary Louise of Austria was the second wife of which emperor? No. Napoleon Bonaparte. Chris, which best-selling horror writer recently published his first internet novel? Stephen King. Correct. Alison. Who was the ruler of Japan during the Second World War? Emperor Hirohito. Correct. Chris? Ophthalmology is concerned with which area of the body? The eyes. Correct. Alison? Louis Blériot was the first person to fly across which stretch of water? The English Channel. Correct. Chris? Bank. Which car manufacturer said people would have his first mass-produced model in any colour as long as it was black? Henry Ford. Correct. Alison, if you were born on the 1st of May, what star sign would you be? Aries. Taurus. Chris, what is the first competitive stage of an equestrian three-day event? Dressage. The time is up. The answer to that question was dressage, but I couldn't have accepted your answer. And you didn't make it to £1,000. You won 400 However, we'll treble that and add it to the winnings from the previous rounds. That means prize money today of £3,010. But only one of you can take that money away. You will be playing against each other head to head. I'll ask alternate questions. It's the best of five. Whoever answers the most correctly wins. It is as simple as that. If there's a tie after five, we'll go for sudden death until we have a winner. So, Alison and Chris, for £3,010, let's play The Weakest Link. 
Chris, as the strongest link in the last round, you have the choice of who goes first. I will. Chris, step forward then. Remember, we have no clock on. And we are paying for £3,010. Which country changed its name from Siam in 1939? Thailand. Correct. Alison, step forward. Michael Crichton's The Lost World is a sequel to which novel? Jurassic Park. Correct. You are level pegging. Chris, who was the voice behind the 1938 radio broadcast of War of the Worlds? Orson Welles. That is the correct answer. Alison, how many pieces does each player start with in a game of backgammon? 24. 15. Chris, what's the name of Popeye's girlfriend? Olive oil. That is the correct answer. Alison, Checkpoint Charlie was a famous crossing point in which city? Berlin. That is the correct answer. Chris, you are still ahead. How old was Boris Becker when he won his first Wimbledon singles title? 17. That is the correct answer. Alison, you need to get this question right to stay in the game. If you get it wrong, then Chris takes away £3,010 and you go away with nothing. Who was the first of the Queen's children to marry? Princess Anne. That is the correct answer. Chris, if you answer this question correctly, you have won £3,010. Which building's address is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, DC? The White House. That is the correct answer. <laughs> That means, Chris, you are today's strongest link and you go away with £3,010. Alison, you leave with nothing. You've been watching The Weakest Link. Goodbye. I wasn't defeated by, the, by my opponent. I was, I was defeated by the question I didn't know the answer to. I felt I was evenly matched with Chris. The point of the game where I thought I'd blown it was when we were in the last three and Anne kept on coming around with the questions and I didn't get many right to be honest. If I'd won the money I was intending to recarpet my lounge.